What's going on guys? In this video I want to talk to you really quick about the uh, the Smart Drummer feature in uh, Logic and uh, how you can kind of get um, a really custom kind of human sound out of your drums because um, I know a lot of times uh, using the mini drums or the Smart Drummer some people will say that they end up sounding very uh, like mechanical or very like almost too perfect. Um, I just wanted to give a uh, little quick rundown here of what you can do and just kind of how the how the feature works in general. So um, here I got a, a couple of guitars recorded and a bass line recorded. Let me play this for you real quick and then we'll we'll start drumming here. So All right, so pretty uh pretty uh I don't know, grunge rock type of feel to it. It's just in standard 4.4, 4, 143 BPM. Um, it is, along with the click, it is pretty in time. So, so we're good there. Um, so basically, what uh, what happens when you when you add a drummer track, like we're about to do right here, we add our drummer in. Um, it, it, it more or less tries to analyze like what's happening as far as like your transients go and like the feel of it. It, it takes in, into account kind of everything, you know, your, your, your time signature, your BPM. Um, if, you know, if you're, if you've got any, uh, like emphasis, like if you're, if you're hitting in a certain, you know, on a one or a three or whatever, it'll try to take that into account the best it can, um, and then it'll it'll just kind of populate you know auto populate just a groove based on whatever you've recorded and and whatever your like I said your BPM and your and your time signature and everything goes. So let's just see what it what it came up with on its own. So pretty cool. It's not the feel I was going for. So what we can do here, how this works is, um, I got Kyle, Kyle, SoCal, kind of a pop Rocky feel. Um, this little ball here, um, you can pretty self-explanatory. The more to the left you are, the simpler the beat is, the more to the right are, the more complex the beat will become. Um, the, the more upwards you go with this little ball, um, this is like, you know, like heavy handed, heavy footed. This is light footed, light handed. You know, he's he's hitting very hard up here and he's hitting very soft down here. Um, you can kind of place this wherever you want and kind of tweak it however you want. And as you can see in here, the transients in the actual track itself, as you move this, they change because different things are happening. And then you also have over here, you've got several options for your hi-hat, um, you've got several kick snare feels, um, the seven and eight, seven is going to be half time, eight is going to be double time. Um, you can also pick, well, I don't want my snare, I just want my, my toms and my, and my kick drum. I want my, my kick drum and my hi-hat. I want toms and, and I can't, I can only pick cymbals there. Um, I don't want hi-hat, I want cymbals and kick drum and snare. Uh, you know, you've, you've got your crashes, your rides, crashes, different emphasis, things like that. Um, swing feel, it's going to add a little bit of the swing feel to it. Be careful with this because this is very, like, it'll get very, uh, really crazy the higher you go. The fill button here, or the fill knob, I should say, this is, uh, you know, no fills or minimal at all. And then, you know, you can see again the transients are changing because he's doing a lot. He's going to be putting quite a bit of stuff in there. Um, but uh, so this is just your standard, you know, drum smart drummer. I call it. I don't know if that's officially what it's called. Um, and then also on Logic on GarageBand, it's similar um, to this, except there's a couple features you don't have, um, like this little guy right here. I think. So this right here is where it starts to become, you can get, you can kind of humanize the drums a little bit. So this is pull or push in one way or the other. Um, think about, you know, 
like right in the center is going to be like perfectly on. So is he how how in the pocket, quote unquote, is is he how 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 behind the beat is he how in front of the beat is he how is he you know is he is he pushing everything forward or is he kind of hanging back in this in this way and it, if you if you go like extreme you will hear a difference like pretty like he's almost going to be off time in a in a lot of ways um you have your ghost notes here um you know your ghost notes like on your snare you know things like that you know if you want a lot of them you can see it's changing up a little bit. Um, your hi hat, you can either, uh, you can't really do much. Oh, because he's not on his hi hat. There we go. So, hi hat, you can, you can be full on open or full on closed or just wherever it happens to naturally be. I usually keep it somewhere in the middle. But, um, so one thing that we can do, so I don't like the, I didn't like the, the uh, the beat that it came up with, honestly, the little. I didn't like that. I want a halftime feel. I want a very uh, uh, heavy rock sound and feel. So let's see what this comes up with. And then I'm going to show you how you can actually edit this even further and even more customize this. So I like that feel. Um, we can go in here and and maybe he's maybe he's hanging back a little bit. Maybe he's not quite on. Maybe he's just letting everybody kind of pull him along a little bit. Um, got our fills, kind of minimal fills. Um, but one thing that you can do that a lot of people don't ever think to do or know that you can do this is you can actually further edit this because if you like hear the bass line um, on this. So you know you want to you want the bass and the and the kick to be kind of in sync with each other or, or not, maybe not in sync but kind of playing with each other. Um, and he definitely wasn't doing that. So you could you could say, well, I want him to follow the bass, and he'll 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 try to follow the bass. So let's see what happens if he just follows the bass. I still don't like that because it went it went double time again. So I'm going to show you what you can do to even further customize this. So let's get this kind of more simple here. What you're going to do is you're going to open another track and you're going to create a software instrument. This is going to be like a MIDI track. And what you're going to do is you are going to who is SoCal, right? Let's go SoCal. So you're going to create another MIDI track and you're going to actually take this track, copy it, and you're going to throw it in here. Now you have this in MIDI form. So what I want to do is I want to move the kick where I like it because I want it to sync up and I want it to sound really cool. So I'm going to do that for you and I'll probably time lapse this a little bit or move it forward so you don't have to watch me do all this. So. Let me play this for you real quick, uh, just completely, um, what this sounds like. So let me play, actually, this original one. You can hear this, and then I'm going to switch them. So let's switch them. Now you can hear what I did. I didn't do much. I didn't change much. I didn't have to. Um, thank God. Um, I just moved the kick around a little bit just so it's a little more in sync with the with the bass guitar. So it sounds a little more, a um, little groovier, I guess you could say. So let's play this, see what this sounds like.
So there you go. I mean, you could really get in here and completely move stuff around. Um, if you have a MIDI controller, like I actually have the Personas uh, Atom uh, drum pad. Um, I use a Studio One quite a bit too. Um, but in this case, I'm using Logic just because I like their, their smart drummer feature. And, I, and I'll kind of go in here and crazy edit stuff. But um, you, can, you can play along to it and, and add stuff to it and uh, get really kind of deep into editing. And then, again, that just kind of further humanizes it because it's actually a person playing it as opposed to a, a computer coming up with something to play. It's you actually inputting the data. So um, that's just a little trick. You can also come in here and then go into your library and then pick, you know, maybe you don't like the, the SoCal drum set. Let's see what this one So yeah, I mean, you can get pretty, you know, pretty, pretty crazy with it. Um, deep dive kind of editing stuff. I do this quite a bit um, and it, and it, it helps to help, like I said, it helps to humanize the smart drummer feature in Logic, which is already awesome as it is. It's just, it's just another way to kind of further deep dive edit something and make it really your own because you know, that's what you want ultimately. So anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video, um, found it useful to you. If you did, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to this channel. And I'm also going to uh, leave some links down in the description. Go ahead and follow those. Uh, there's going to be one that you can go to my website, www.gofrettofret.com. You can find my uh, free ebook. It's totally free. It's called The Gain Staging Guide. It's just a, a quick read to help you kind of get set up in the right direction, on the right path to uh, creating better mixes in your home studio. So uh, love to see you. Love to have you. Thanks for stopping by. We will see you in the next one. All right. Bye.